Hey, what's up, guys? We just got the Ultima Miller K Cup coffee maker. It's like a Keurig competitor. Our Keurig broke, so we had to order a new one. So we figured we'd get something more budget friendly. So, this bad boy just came in. The K Cup coffee maker, single serve, Brewer by Mueller. Happiness is homemade. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's unbox this bad boy. <clears throat> All right, I don't know what to expect. All I know is it has good reviews on Amazon and we figured we'd document the process, see how things go, maybe even have a cup of coffee together. All right. Packaging seems to be packaged well, so I wouldn't be worried about this thing getting busted during the shipping process. A lot of styrofoam protecting it. Instructions, we'll read through those if we get stuck, although I don't think it's terribly complicated. And, of course, the coffee maker itself. Alright, here it is. We'll put it on the table here. Alright, cool. So it comes with this uh, plastic bag. We're replacing um, right here. So this is it right here, the Mueller. And if you look over here, this is our old Craig. It broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. But well, we're replacing it. <clears throat> so, okay. It looks like, you know, you open it probably. Yep, just like there. Just like the Keurig. This is the Mueller right here. And if we look over here at the Keurig, similar thing. We already had a coffee cup in here. Look, this is uh, a Saint. This is the Keurig one. Let's see. It fits in here, obviously. And boom, in here as well. And if we close it. Same thing, it does the whole poking thing. So it looks like it will work with um, this Mueller as well. We'll give it a test run in a bit here. All right guys, so we just unboxed the Mueller and put it on our Keurig stand where our Keurig was standing. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And if you come around on the side here, you know, in my opinion, it looks pretty clean for a Keurig alternative, in my opinion. And if you look at the Keurig here, I think it's actually nicer. It, it looks more slim, it looks more modern, the Mueller over here. So, so far I'm loving the visuals of it. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually fill this thing up with water. <clears throat> so the water jug on the Mueller is back here. Um, it is a little harder to get to compared to the Keurig. If you look at the Keurig here, you can open it from here, which is very convenient and easy, or you can take it out really easily like that. Um, but that's not really a big deal. If it's an issue, you can just like pull it from the side here. So to me, honestly, it's not a big deal. If that really bothers you, then I guess it makes sense, but it's such a small thing. I wouldn't really worry about something like that. Okay, so this holds, looks like up to 40 ounces, and we're gonna add some water into it. All right. And I'm not sure how long exactly this takes to brew, because the Keurig takes about I don't know, like 20, 30 seconds to brew up hot water, which is quick. We'll see how quick this thing goes. All right, so let's see. We're gonna, looks like we're gonna have to turn this because it's gonna be hard with our cabinets over here with our setup. I don't know how your setup is gonna, exactly, but with our setup, we definitely need to turn it because these cabinets won't let us put it in from the top. No biggie. All right, so here we go. If you swing around here at uh, the controls, you can see the way you power this thing is there's a power button right here, and we're gonna push that. And as you can see here, you have a small, medium, and large that lights up, that lets you select. And over here, you can see the how much water is in the um, in the machine itself. So I have no idea how to use this thing, and this is our first test. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that Keurig cup we opened earlier down here. And by the way, if you're looking for a place to store your K-Cups, this is a pretty cool thing. Um, instead of like having the box or just them laying around in your pantry. Um, if you want to buy one of these, I'll leave a link in the description. This is an awesome Keurig holder. I would highly recommend this. It looks pretty cool and it just keeps things <clears throat> more organized. Alright, so we're going to open it here. Boom. And as you can see, it goes in smooth. Just like that Keurig. All right, it's in, and as you can see on this side, it looks like the button stopped blinking and it recognized that there's a K-cup in there because before it was blinking. All right, so now we're gonna actually take our cup, we're gonna put it in there, and we're gonna get a, let's see, 
I guess we'll do a large. I don't know how big that is. Let's hope it doesn't overflow. All right, it's making noises. I have no idea what to expect, so we'll see what happens. It's making noises. Okay. And as you can see, it took about 15 seconds for it to start heating up with water, and it's pouring it in right now, brewing it. All right. Beautiful. Oh, it smells good. By the way, we are using the French dark roast coffee. I love this coffee. I try a lot of Keurig coffees and I don't know, I'm loving this French one. This French one is really, really good. If you don't like dark, you know, I would have recommend this, but definitely into that kind of stuff. All right, and as you can see, it's coming to a finish here. And one thing I noticed right away that's different from this uh, Mueller compared to the Keurig, this Mueller is way quieter. Way, way quieter. Oh, and it makes a beeping sound. That's pretty cool. So you know when your coffee's done, if you're like making coffee and making breakfast at the same time, that's pretty cool. All right, awesome. So it looks like it worked. All right, and as you can see, the meter went down a little bit here on the coffee drainer as well, which is nice. And it's, show it's cool to see Looks like I can do about three cups of coffee on large before I have to refill it again. So that's pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure how many ounces this was. This looks like it's a 12, 12 ounces. Yeah, all right. And this is also a tray here. It's still dripping a little. That's okay. I guess you can clean this like every once in a while. Just rinse it out. I don't, like if you rinse it out, I don't think you'll have an issue with that. Anyways, that's been our first impressions and unboxing on the Mueller. If you're interested in a Keurig alternative, something that's more budget, and in my opinion, cleaner looking, I highly recommend this one. This is our first time using it, and I'm not sure how it'll, how it'll hold up in about a week or a month, but we'll leave you guys with an update. May, perhaps we'll make a video, an update video on how this thing holds up. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see that in the future, be sure to subscribe and we'll upload that. And if you guys want to purchase this one, I'll leave a link in the description and you can find it on Amazon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this review on the Mueller. Have a good day. Peace and enjoy your coffee.